Hello students this is Shivani Kesri your English subject teacher today we will study a chapter from your English literature book and after that we will do the exercise also so students if you have any question regarding this chapter then do drop it in the comment section now let's start the chapter through the animation video chapter 3 clever bobo once upon a time There lived a cruel lion called Asuraka in a dense forest. Asuraka was king of the animals. He was fierce and powerful and very proud of himself. He would kill the animals of the forest whenever he pleased, whether or not he was hungry. All the animals of the forest were very worried. If this went on after some time, none of them would be left alive. what could they do they decided to hold a meeting with the lion to try and put an end to their problem so one day all the animals of the forest gathered under a big tree they invited basuraka to attend the meeting the animals said to basuraka your majesty we are glad to have you as our king but if you kill more than you need Very soon there will be no animals left in the forest. So, what do you want? The lion roared. One of the animals replied, "We have decided to send one animal to your den every day. You can eat him. This will also save you the trouble of hunting." "Very well," replied Pasuraka. "But make sure that the animal reaches me on time. Otherwise, I will kill all the animals of the jungle. From that day onwards, an animal was sent to Basuraka every day to become his food. The lion was very happy to have his food right before him without having to take the pains of hunting. One day, it was the turn of Bobo, a rabbit, to go to the lion's den. Bobo was clever. He thought of a plan which would save his life. and also the lives of all the animals of the forest bobo wandered around in the forest for a while finally he reached the lion's den a little late basuraka was hungry and was impatiently waiting for his food to arrive he was furious when he saw that only a small rabbit had been sent for his meal why are you so late he growled Why have they sent only a little rabbit for my meal? Bobo stood with folded hands and quietly said, "Your Majesty, please forgive me, but it is not my fault. Actually, six rabbits were sent to make your meal, but five of them were killed and eaten by another lion. He said that he was the real king of the forest." I have somehow escaped to reach here safely. Basuraka roared in anger and said, "Impossible! There cannot be another king of this forest. Tell me, who is he? I will kill him. Take me to the place where you saw him." Bobo agreed and took the lion towards a deep well, filled with water. When they reached the well. The rabbit said, "Here is the place where he lives. Be careful; he might be hiding inside." Basuraka looked inside the well and saw his own reflection in the water. Basuraka was furious and started to growl. His growl echoed back from the well. Basuraka was scared. He ran away from the forest, never to return again. Bobo breathed a sigh of relief. He went back to the other animals and told them what had happened. All the animals were happy and praised Bobo for his cleverness. They lived happily ever after in the forest. Students, this is an exercise of this chapter. If you want, you can pause the video and do it. Thank you, students.